They have no one. They have no one who can do it. And let me uh, this is an area where you're going to see maybe someone go who you don't think should go Lewis, here, but I think someone's going to go here and as a pass rusher. Lewis, let me just say this. That's my philosophy. If I had a, if I had a head coach who's pounding a table and a coordinator, i got to have Gurley. He does have value. Would have been a guaranteed top 10 pick had he been healthy through the process. Well, as Mort started to talk about Dan Quinn as the new head coach, he was late the defensive With coordinator the for the Seahawks. In the 2015 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Vic Beasley, defensive end, Clemson. Well, you certainly can add it up. Dan Quinn, progressive defensive coach, and no one's saying if you don't pick a running back, it's foolish. It just, it could be time early, but Beasley, with all these these guys that pin their ears back, there's been some questions about the Gregory's, the Rays. Beasley's questions are more if there are some football, right? Well, I mean, Beasley's my, uh, yeah, Bruce Irvin. Bruce Irvin goes to Seattle Seahawks middle of the first round. I thought he was overdrafted. Pick Beasley, I think, is overdrafted. But what he can do when he pins his ears back, he can get after the quarterback. 25 sacks, 44 and a half tackles for loss the last two years. Also, six fourth fumbles the last two years. And by the way, eight sacks as a sophomore, only played 288 plays. The issue is he's a former running back in high school. He does not play the run well, but he was a down defensive end. You put him on his feet as an outside linebacker, you move him around, then you limit the opportunities for a big tackle to feed him up. And I think there were times where he didn't show the energy, he didn't show the fight. And John, I know this isn't one of the favorite picks of John Gruden in this draft. Oh, I love the edge speed. I do love his measurables, his overall athleticism. I'm concerned about his size and his ability to hold up against the run. Beasley can get on the edge and really use that get off, that vertical jump, that explosive athletic ability that you saw at the combine. But when you watch him carefully, there's just too many plays where the effort isn't good enough. Yeah, I think when you when you when, when you look take a look at some of the effort plays, some of the run plays, you got to be able to get off a block and eventually get to the bottom of the pile. I see too many snaps where Beasley's at the point of attack. He's not finishing plays. And I might be a critical, yes. But Vic Beasley, to be a great pro football player, has to do it on every down. And he's got to be a bigger part of the run defense. I know they'll scheme things. They'll put him at the loose end or the Leo end position. He has dynamic speed. They need an edge rusher. He'll address that. But I want to see Beasley improve his effort as a run defender.